Hello and welcome to Adventure Sean, where I'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. What a year 2020 has been, and I've not uploaded for nearly a month on this channel. So I thought tonight I want to take the opportunity, with it being that week up to Christmas, that run up to the festive season, just to stand here with the camera and just talk to you all and share my thoughts on 2020 and sort of reflect on some of the positive moments of this year, but also, most importantly, a huge milestone for this channel. And that is 50,000 subscribers. So I'd just like to say a massive thank you from the bottom of my heart to each and every one of you that are subscribed here to Adventure Sean. I've been making videos on this channel for just over two years now. It used to be my theme park related channel. Uh, 2012 came along, I set up theme park worldwide for that. Uh, and then this channel pretty much became dormant until two years ago where I started to upload my travels around the world. And this year, of course, a huge trip to Scotland that I did that is definitely the highest light and that's what I'm going to reflect on in this video. We're going to walk around, we're going to see some Christmas lights and I'm also going to share my thoughts on what I'd like to do next year in 2021. So come and join me for a bit of a festive stroll as I share my thoughts on 2020 and what we can look forward to on Adventure Sean next year. Well I'll tell you what, I wish 2020 would have been as awesome as this Christmas tree. Look at this beauty. That is absolutely gorgeous isn't it? And you might be thinking, where would have a big real Christmas tree like this that's absolutely huge? I mean, you can see the road over there in the distance. This is massive. It's maybe 50, 60 foot tall. I'm not sure, but well, that thing is massive. Well, it's here at the JCB World Headquarters, somewhere that I've never actually filmed before here on this channel. And I really feel like there's actually a video waiting to happen around this area. There's a huge lake out the front here. You can't see it now because it's dark, but this is the JCB World Headquarters. And of course I'm from Utoxter, it's my hometown. And that is also where JCB was founded. So there you go, anything, oh, where's Sean from? It's actually from the town where JCB was founded. And I'm actually at the World Headquarters, which is just a few miles outside of your Toxeter. Uh, and like I say, each year they put up this absolutely incredible Christmas tree that is just stunning, isn't it, there on the hillside? absolutely gorgeous. I thought, yeah, I've got to come down here and show you it. Um, it's not one that's planted here all year. They actually bring it in on a lorry and crane it up each year and smother it in traditional white Christmas lights. Gorgeous, isn't it? Now, as you can see, there's the huge JCB logo just on the side of the factory. Then up here as well, World Headquarters. All the letters there that are absolutely huge. And of course the backlit with the white lights there. which looks absolutely incredible. And you can see it's a seven o'clock now on an evening and the factory is still busy inside, work going on all through the night. You've got all the office buildings just down here. You can actually see a bit of a showroom down in the bottom as well where they've actually got some of the diggers on display. Give you a bit of a zoom in down there, you can just see those. And another huge Christmas tree there on the right hand side as well that seems to be turned off at the moment, of course, with it being inside. And I imagine that's just on for more of the office staff and the showrooms in the daytime. You can just see the reflection of the big outdoor tree though over there in the glass as well. But yeah, it's a stunning building. And like I say, this is a huge lake over here. In the daytime, this is gorgeous. Uh, it was a place I came a lot during the lockdown actually just for exercise. I'm only a few miles from here. Um, great place to walk around. Uh, the lake's pretty much over to where you can see the street lights in the distance. Huge area, a really nice open space. That's the great thing with JCB and what a lot of us locals really appreciate. Yes, they built this massive factory uh, on the landscape. However, they put this massive lake in. Uh, you have a lot of animals, a lot of nature around here now, all created by JCB putting this lake in. So yes, they built a big factory, but they really thought about the environment and fitting it in as nice as they could do all the way around as well. When I decided to change this channel from its former name of Sandbrook Productions to Adventure Sean just over two years ago, I never thought I would ever reach 50,000 subscribers. Honestly, I'm so thankful. So thank you so much. It really does mean the world to me. And 2020 has been a challenging year for this channel. However, I've still done some of the best things I've ever done, such as climbing Ben Nevis, the tallest mountain in the United Kingdom up in Scotland. That is a huge milestone for me this year and that I will always remember. Uh, that has got to be the highlight for me of 2020 across everything that I've done uh, on both of my YouTube channels. Uh, just going to Scotland on that trip and climbing Ben Nevis. Um, it took me under just under four hours, but I tell you what, um, it was well worth it. Like the memories that I've got from that and that whole Scotland trip, just standing here now and reflecting on it all and looking back to that trip, which was nearly three months ago now, some of the best memories I've ever made. I was up there for five days. I did so much 
much packed in. I saw waterfalls, um, all the different locks. I saw castles um, and just really got to appreciate the gorgeous country of Scotland. It was wonderful. So I've left JCB property now and walked about 10 minutes here to the quiet Staffordshire village of Denston that always has some absolutely gorgeous Christmas lights. Now, these are all based around the village hall here in Denston and they look really nice. We're only about two miles away from Alton, uh, about two and a half miles away from the Alton Towers theme park. And yeah, this is a really nice Staffordshire village, very quiet around here, uh, but they've always done Christmas lights. And ever since I was a kid, I mean, I'm 27 now, but ever since I was little, this village has always done fantastic Christmas lights and as you can see here all the bushes are covered in lights you've got these little LED trees down here uh, the strobing lights down here in the bushes it looks absolutely wonderful doesn't it and of course it just creates some really nice festive cheer for when people are driving through this village uh, making their way up to Alton I mean there is the main road just around the corner but sometimes people can cut through this way and come and enjoy um, all of the different lights and um, yeah it's beautiful around here this is the uh, bus station down here what they've got uh, the bus stop not really a station is it just one stop <laughs> but you've got the uh, hanging star there all these color changing lights up in the top we've got this fantastic mural that's painted onto the wall here as well got some dogs down there and of course you've got the horse on the back looks great doesn't it very nice and all the brickwork around the side but yeah, I know we've got a lot of American viewers on this channel, so I thought they'd really appreciate just seeing like a typical English village. And, and this is it, you have a lot of these signposts just here, Stubwood, uh, half a mile to the left, Denston College, which is a huge historic building, three quarters of a mile uh, to the right, and then of course up to the village of Alton, um, which is two miles. But yeah, you've got some absolutely gorgeous lights all the way around here. And this is just the start of it. So you've got uh, the pub, which is just off to the uh, right hand side there. And up here on the village hall car park look at this absolutely amazing you've got all the lights all down the side which look great all the strips over on the village hall and yeah we'll carry on around and have a look at some more of the lights I've always got fond memories of my parents bringing me here to Denston every year to see the Christmas lights and they've certainly evolved over the years. Really like this edition, the Merry Christmas from Denston. It's just like a wooden board and then you can see they've like drilled holes in it um, and then like poked the lights through. Well, that looks fantastic. Got the chandeliers up the top there that are twinkling away, all the lights hanging down from the gutters and of course the uh, like the RGB strip lights that they've got along the side. But something that I do really like and what's quite unique um, for Christmas, they never used to have this, that's the little uh, fountain package just over here. It just looks like a kid's paddling pool and then they put like some uh, fountains inside um, with some lights shining up just for all the colours. And of course the Merry Christmas on the front to kind of cover up that it's a paddling pool. Um, and then of course you've got this fantastic Christmas tree down here as well that looks great. Not quite as impressive as the JCB tree, but you've got to think that's a multi-million pound company. Um, we're a huge company, whereas this is just done by the local community around here to make it nice over Christmas. But it's a nice tree, all the colour changing bulbs on there. You've got all the lights up here on the top. And that's the pub over there as well. Unfortunately closed, we are in a tier three area at the moment. If you're in the UK, you'll know exactly what I'm on about. If you're watching from around the world, you probably won't have a clue, but that's basically to do with the COVID-19 pandemic and the restrictions in, in, in place, um, which does mean that unfortunately pubs can't be open um, in this run up to Christmas, which is really sad for these businesses. Um, but yeah, it still looks great with all the lights on. Um, and yeah, you come down the street here, a few of the local houses put some lights up as well. And also you've actually got the uh, village shop just around this corner that also puts some lights up there as well. But yeah, I just thought I'd take you for a little walk around here so you could see them. Um, all the lights down here in Denston, a bit of a tradition for me as a kid. Like I said, I'm 27 now. Um, so that means, well, 27 years of coming here to the village of Denston, not far at all from where I live, only 10 minutes away. Um, you know, but it always looks great at Christmas. Just got that wonderful festive feeling, hasn't it? Now, as much as climbing to the top of Ben Nevis, the tallest mountain in the UK, was certainly the highlight of 2020 for me. There's still been some other fantastic moments here on this channel, away from that trip to Scotland. I look at things like walking along the world's longest pleasure pier in South End on Sea. I did that back in the summer. Along with that as well, I had various different memories from Newcastle upon Tyne, where I went to see all the different bridges. I got the metro down to Whitley Bay and took in all of that. Like I say, I've not done as much as I would have liked to this year for this channel but you know what I've done something including a huge milestone I didn't think I was fit enough to be able to climb that mountain uh, but I tell you what uh, I stand here today now December 2020 and think what an achievement for this year 
but it also makes me think what's to come in 2021. So I've now made my way here to Alton and it is really quiet around here. If you travel into Alton Towers, you'll normally come down this very road here. And at Christmas, they actually put this fantastic tree up just here. That is absolutely gorgeous, probably about 20 foot tall, loads of big lights in there. And yeah, it's just so quiet and peaceful around here. Uh, normally in the summer, of course, when the theme park's fully open, loads of people traveling uh, through Alton Village just here. You might think the biggest theme park in the UK? No, it's gonna have a major road go into it well it hasn't this is one of the main roads to Alton Towers through the little village of Alton and yeah the Christmas tree looks lovely here doesn't it very nice and you've actually got lots of uh, little decorations on here as well that are fantastic I mean that's made of uh, like logs and sweet wrappers on there which is interesting and they're made of like old jam jars around the side uh, but what's really interesting here is of course this building here I mean if you've been through Alton Village and um, when you've been on your way to Alton Towers then you might think what is this building the door is always closed other than at Christmas as you can see we've got a little nativity scene inside here which is really nice there you go. And you might be thinking, what is this building normally for? Well, of course, it's not been used for many, many years, but it actually used to be um, like the, the village prison, if you like, where people would get locked up inside. And now it's home to this wonderful nativity here as well. And there's baby Jesus down at the bottom. But yeah, you know, of course, it's just so weird, isn't it? Seeing Alton, normally this busy, this busy village, um, just so peaceful. One car's come through. I've been here a few minutes. Crazy. But yeah, just thought I'd show you this because it's really nice with the nativity scene there and the lights around the top and then of course the Alton Village Christmas tree. So I've made the 15 minute journey from Alton back to my hometown of Utoxeter and just thought I'd share some of the wonderful Christmas lights around here as well and also talk about those exciting plans for the future here on Adventure Shawn. Now we all know that 2020 has been a really tough year because of the COVID-19 pandemic, but I like to think that I've made the most of it, the best I can do and the safest ways that I can do this year. And honestly, I just want to say thank you to all of you who supported me throughout 2020. To reach that 50,000 subscribers is absolutely incredible, especially in such a tough year. And especially when I've not posted anywhere near as much content as I originally planned to. So once again, I just want to say thank you so much for all of your support. So what is next for Adventure Sean here on YouTube? Well, I've kind of started it by this video. The plan is to do a little bit more lifestyle vlogging and day-to-day -day vlogging, not necessarily going to places all the time, but even just sharing my day-to-day -day activities and lifestyle with you all. That's something that I plan to do more of in 2021. There'll be more road trips here in my car. I'll be sharing the journeys, some incredible views, um, staying in lots of different accommodation and trying to see some different places as well. Not necessarily big tourist attractions, sometimes going off the radar a little bit, kind of like I did in Scotland earlier this year and just seeing some roadside attractions, film locations. That is the plan for this channel next year. And you know what? It's going to be really exciting. Of course, it does depend on travel restrictions in terms of where I'm going to be able to go and how far however there is still lots planned even if it means that I can't travel too far because there's a lot in the local area that I'll be able to share with you all here on Adventure Shore so there we go I hope that you've enjoyed this bit of an update on everything that I've done this year things to look forward to in 2021 and of course things will get better it's been a tough year this year we've all felt down at points this year because of the virus we all have um, however things will get better the vaccine is starting to be rolled out here in the UK um, so fingers crossed things will start to get better um, within the first few months of 2021 things aren't going to change straight away however um, as soon as things get rolled out uh, I imagine by the summer we should be in a lot more of a normal lifestyle than what we're used to let's hope so anyway um, but of course I'll always stay positive uh, here on Adventure Sean that is what it's all about sharing them adventures and like I say you're going to be seeing a lot more of me on this channel on a more regular basis um, that I look forward to sharing with you all starting um, in just a couple of weeks with some stuff that I've got planned for the start of January. So thanks for joining me. I have an absolutely wonderful Christmas. I hope you've enjoyed seeing some wonderful Christmas lights, giving you a bit of an insight into the local area where I live um, and just genuinely sharing a bit of British Christmas for you all because I know there's a lot of American viewers and international viewers on this channel. I just thought you'd all appreciate seeing like some of these cute little places that do Christmas lights and like Denston and Alton uh, and of course the huge Christmas tree down at JCB as well. So thanks for joining me. Have an absolutely amazing amazing Christmas and a happy 2021 and that leaves me with one final thing to say get out there and have your own adventures Merry Christmas see you soon